Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to do a second example on finding the natural frequencies of a two degree of freedom system. So we're given that the stiffness constants of um, the first and second um, shafts are equal, and also the rotational inertia of the first disk is three times the rotational inertia of the second disk. So recall that last time we said that the first step was to find the governing equations of motion in matrix form. Uh, in this video, we're going to do that directly. We're going to write a, we're going to draw a free body diagram, and then we're going to write the equations directly. Step number two will be to solve the equation that says that the determinant of the stiffness matrix minus lambda times the mass matrix is equal to zero for different values of lambda. Now, since it's a two degree of freedom system, we expect to find two values of lambda. And then finally, the natural frequencies are equal to the square root of the uh, lambda values. All right, number one, I'm going to draw a simplified version of this in translational form. The reason I show you this is that when I first took this class, I remember I had a hard time visualizing um, torsion compared to just masses and springs moving. And what I'm saying is that That is equal to that. With time, I just got better at dealing with uh, these systems over here. So we're going to go ahead and write the equations directly. The first, or rather I should say, just a reminder, we're looking for something that has the form mass or inertia. Inertia is in rotation, mass is in translation, times some acceleration vector, could also be theta, depends plus the stiffness matrix times the displacement vector is equal to, in this case, it's equal to zero because there's no uh, force acting on the system. All right, so the mass matrix is simply J1, 0, 0, J2 times the vector theta sub 1 double dot that is a two double dot plus the sum of all the springs that are attached to the first mass, which is K1 plus K2 minus the sum of the elements that are joining uh, mass one to mass two, that's minus J2. We know that it is symmetrical. Oh, sorry, about, sorry about that. Minus K2 rather, and then the sum of the elements that are attached to uh, the second mass, or the second disk, which is simply equal to k2 times the displacement vector, and that is equal to zero. We're going to use the information that we received in the problem statement to simplify this. So we're going to take this and bring it in there. So we get 3j, 0, 0, and j. Plus 
2k minus k minus k, k. So we completed the first step. We go on to the second step in which we are going to calculate the determinant of a two by two matrix, which is the stiffness matrix. Minus lambda times the inertia matrix or mass matrix we say that that is equal to zero and so The determinant is simply equal to this product times minus this product. Minus k squared is equal to zero. Now, did we get this right? Yes, we did. All right. So we're going to have 2k squared minus 2kj lambda minus 3kj lambda plus 3j squared lambda squared is equal to 0. Forgot something over here. That is minus k. Okay. So we got rid of this, we got rid of this, we got rid of this. And what's left is plus k squared is equal to zero. We're going to use the quadratic, quadratic formula. We're going to say that lambda is equal to minus 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 5 kg plus or minus the square root of minus 5 kg squared minus 4 times 3j squared times k squared. All of that divided by 2 times 3j squared. What you're going to get is 5kg plus or minus 25kj squared minus 12k. I'm sorry, that's k squared, j squared twice. All of that divided by 6j squared. 
we're almost there, is equal to. So that will be 5 plus or minus 13, or the square root of 13, Push this to the right. Five KJ plus or minus sorry about that, just got mixed up a little. That's good. And that will be K over J divided by 6. Now I simply thought this out. I should have written it because I made a few mistakes. K squared J squared divided by 6 J squared is equal is equal to 5 K J plus or minus square root of 13 times kj divided by 6j squared and that's equal to 5kj divided by 6j squared plus or minus the square root of 13kj divided by 6j squared and that is equal to 5k6j plus or minus square root of 13 times k divided by 6j, which is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 13 over 6 times k over j. So that's where this comes from. So the first natural frequency is going to be the square root of 5 minus square root of 13 divided by 6 times k over j and that's equal to 0 0.482 square root of k over j and the second natural frequency is equal to the square root of 5 plus 13 divided by 6 times k over j and that one is equal to 1.198 square root of k over j. And that is our answer. Now the reason I said that uh, the first natural frequency was 5 minus square root of 13 is just because I knew that that's what was going to give the smallest value for the natural frequency. You could have used 5 plus square root of 13 as long as you make sure that the first natural frequency is the smallest one. So um, yeah, you just switch them at the end if you didn't do that. All right, I'm going to highlight this answer. In the next video, we're going to uh, calculate the free response of the system. And if you want to have the PDF worksheet, then I posted a link um, in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.